80 pounds each, Newabell's adjustable dumbbells. Yes, these have been reviewed quite a bit, but get ready for the review of all reviews. Let's go. I beefed up my garage gym and was tired of using these adjustable dumbbells, which are big, bulky, and are really hard to adjust and place in their holders. Plus, they max out at 50 pounds each, which is good for most exercises, but every once in a while, I need some iron. You know, go big or go home. Well, I'm already home. Forget about that. This brought me to the granddaddy of adjustable weights, Nuabel. Now, there are several reviews online, but I'm an actual user, and I wanted to point out things that no one else covers. The dumbbells came quick, and the FedEx guy was not happy, but they came in two separate boxes, 80 pounds each box. I already opened up one, and I saved this one to show you how they're packed. A box inside a box. The packaging was good. I took the dumbbell holder out, and let's look at the weights. Best way to get these out is grabbing the plastic and then grabbing from the bottom. Okay, now the second one. Take it out of the plastic bag to get a closer look. Everyone that reviews these mentions that they have plastic parts and this is a concern. Both of these fittings are made of plastic. It definitely makes you cautious to be gentle, but more on this later. I'll slide these into their spot, which is amazingly simple. Not like these. Let's do this again. So satisfying. Now, let's get the handle on. I do like the knurled handle and the shape makes these feel like traditional dumbbells. I'll slide it in and make it complete. If I flip a weight upside down, the handle won't move. If I turn the weight back over the right way, no issues. The adjustments and clicking sound are great. There they are. Also, when you select in five pound increments, the system engages and disengages depending on the weight for the first five pounds on the dumbbell. Friggin' genius. These are the smartest dumbbells I know. Super easy to adjust and go right up to 80 pounds. What? Made in China? I thought they were made in Sweden. Ah, engineered in Sweden. I got you. Those Swedes know how to make their weights. Not so much meatballs. <laughs> huh? Sorry, I got distracted. Here they are, ready to go. Another thing I like is that they have a flat side so they don't roll away. They have these pins to keep the plastic on. It would be nice if these were threaded so it would be easier to replace the plastic piece if they wear out. Also, there's this thin piece right here. I would be concerned if I dropped the weights down that they would crack. Okay, let's show you the stand. It came in pieces. Let's lay these out and see how many parts we have to deal with. Not many. The box looked worse. Seems sturdy. It was very easy to put together, so no need to show you. 
It looks good and is a good height for me, which I'm 6'1". The stand is good looking. Nice protective rubber feet. These attachments are plastic and look like they're adjustable. Let's put the weight holder on and load this up. There you go, plastic on plastic. I put the weights on and it's holding them just fine. A little wobbly, but what do you expect? It's 160 pounds. Another thing, see this little plastic tab on both sides? Yes, more plastic. That little tab fits right here on the bottom of the newel bell. When you place the dumbbell on the holder, this frees up the handle for adjustments. Take it off and the handle locks. If those little tabs break, you're hosed. One last thing. Check out all these colors. All in all, these are great. The feel, the quickness, and the hassle-free and changing weights, I really like these. Yes, they're not cheap, but it's good to spend the money on something that works well and will be used. I can't wait to work out, but now I need to take a nap. I hope this review helped, and if it did, I created the thumbs up and the subscribe button in the right hand corner just for you. So hit it and happy lifting. A few minutes later.